This is Eugene Panrukovich on the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have an Asus 1015PE 1015PE netbook computer with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace cracked screen on an Asus 1015PE laptop computer. Uh, before we go any further, I want to talk about this netbook computer because um, this computer looks almost exactly like a previous version that uses a different screen so I'll tell you how to tell this version from the other version part. Uh, this version is from early 2013 and runs the Windows 8 operating system and the earlier version is called was called the EEE PC and ran the Windows 7 operating system and I have a separate video for that but that one uses a different screen so this is for the more recent 2013 version. The model numbers are almost the same but the screen is different. Okay before we get started with removing the screen we want to make sure the laptop is safe to work on and that means removing all sources of power which means we need to remove the battery. So in order to remove the battery we flip the laptop over. There's two levers right above the battery we slide those inwards and we pull the battery out and put it to the side. Okay, while we're on the bottom, we can take a look at the model number and it says 1015E. So it's not 1015PE, it's 1015E. And it's right under the battery that you can see it. And you can see the Windows 8 sticker. If you see the Windows 8 sticker, that means it's the right laptop model. Okay, we flip our laptop back over again. And before we go any further, I'm going to show you the tools that we're going to use for this procedure. We have a PH0 electronics screwdriver. And PH stands for Phillips and zero is the size. We have a pair of metal tweezers to remove any screws that are stuck. And we have an exacto knife or a hobby knife, and that's to lift up adhesive tape. Okay, so let's get started. In order to get to the screen assembly, we need to remove the screen bezel. That's the plastic frame around the screen. And sometimes there are screws securing the screen bezel in the corners, but in this case, there's no screws, so it can just snap the screen bezel off. The way I like to do that is put my fingertips on the screen side, in this case fingernails because it's kind of hard to lift it up. Lift up the edge a little bit and just pull, start pulling up and out and listen for snapping sounds. This one is a little bit harder so take your time on this. So up and out and go around the screen. If you get stuck at some point go around that point and come back to that later. And just go around the bottom also, like this. And keep moving around until you get every piece snapped off. Like. And next trick is to put the screwdriver under and we got it. So what happens is that these hinges, the hinge covers, they're a separate piece from the rest of the screen assembly. So what we do is lift up like this with the PH1 screwdriver and remove the hinge covers. So snap the screen bezel off and then use the screwdriver to lift up the hinge covers. Okay, so we keep moving. Apologies for this. It's not usually this hard for me. So we put the screen bezel and the hinge covers to the side and making sure that we keep the hinge covers, the right one and the left one. I'm not sure if it makes a difference, but just in case we put the hinge covers to the side. Okay, next we're going to take a look at the screen assembly. For this type of screen, it's a 10.1 inch slim screen. It's mounted on some metal mounting brackets on the side with screws on the side. So we have to remove four screws, two on top, 
and two on the bottom. And for that, we use our screwdriver and remove the screws one by one. So one, two, and make sure that the screen is tilted back while we're doing this. Three, and four, like so. Once we remove the four screws, we gently tilt the screen forward. And once we do tilt this, start to tilt the screen forward, we see it's getting stuck on something. Looks like there's some adhesive on the side. So we gently lift up this adhesive and remove the adhesive tape from the back of the screen like so, and then put the screen down like so. Once we put the screen down, we see that there is one connector on the bottom and we have to disconnect this connector. In order to do that, we lift up, we have to lift up the adhesive tape that's securing the connector and we use our X-Acto knife for that. We lift up a corner with our hobby knife and use our fingertips to gently lift up the tape. Like so. And then we slowly take, pull the connector out. So, like so. Before we go any further, I'm going to show you how to put this connector back in. What we do is line up the connector and slowly push it back in. You feel but not hear two clicks and let's get a close-up of what it should look like. Okay, pause the video right there. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. So once we do that, we take the connector out again and let's take a look at the screen. This is a 10.1 inch slim LED screen. It's fairly commonly available. And here's the part number that you're looking for. The part number is B101XTN01.1. Um, when you do get your new screen in, even if you order this part number, most likely you'll be a different part number when you get it in because five or six different vendors make the exact same screen but with different part numbers. The other thing to notice is this screen has a matte finish. Sometimes the screens that come in have matte, sometimes it's glossy. It's, at this size it's very difficult to order a specific either matte or glossy. Uh, we as screen surgeons only stock the glossy screens. So like I said, um, you can order this screen from us, from screen surgeons. And what you get with us is this exact same toolkit. It comes for free with the screens to help you install the screen. You get a two-year warranty on our screens against um, manufacturer's defects. You get free email technical supports, support. If you have any problems with the installation, send us email and we'll take care of it. And finally, we have fast delivery. We ship from West Coast and East Coast using priority mail. So even if you order free ground shipping, your screen will be there in two or three days or less. And if you live outside of the United States, we can ship it to your country. Just go through the regular shopping cart checkout and then select your country. To order this screen from us, go to www.screensurgeons.com. There will be short form for you to fill out where you give us your laptop model number and then we'll direct you to buy the right screen online to do that. Okay, so the next thing, once you do get your screen in, Connect the connector as I showed you. Mount the screen back in the back of the screen assembly. Put the two, four screws in where they came out of. Next step is to snap this screen bezel back on. And after that, what you do is you snap on these two 
snap on the two hinge covers like so. There's there's two ways. Let's take a look at the hinge covers. There's two different connector types. You want the big one on the top and the two small ones on the bottom. So big one on the top and two small ones on the bottom. So you put the bezel back in, snap those in, and then gently just rock them and push them in. So the both the right and the left. Okay, uh, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrikovich. I'm the laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and have a good day.